Hello, hello, hi everyone. Okay, I'm gonna bring Stefani on. Uh-oh. Waiting for Stefania. <laughs> we are waiting. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Hello, hello. Hola. Let's see here. Is it that? Wait, we'll try this again. Wait. Oh! <gasps> oh, hi, beautiful. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> you look beautiful. Oh wow, thank you. You do as well, you do as well. Oh, there's butterflies, I'm by the window. Yeah, nothing. Sorry, I'm distracted. In beautiful California weather. In beautiful California weather. A little too hot today, but still it beautiful. was really hot yesterday. Crazy. My goodness. Crazy. How have you been? I've been good. Very chilled, I have to be honest. Well, chilled because I've been home. But yeah, the situation in California hasn't been the most chilled, as you know. No, yes. across the world, really, but yeah, um, exactly. But it's all for a good cause, which is positive. It's gonna Absolutely. make the proper change. Um, and what else? I'm like trying to think of all the little things. I know you uh, you said you looked at some questions. I did. I did. I looked at some questions today, and I don't know. Should we answer some of them? Should we go yes. straight to it? Okay, yeah. Great. Okay. So one of the first questions that I got, it was uh, this girl saying, "Was your first kiss that bad?" Which made me laugh because it implies that her first kiss wasn't that good. But do you remember your first kiss? How was do it? I remember, I remember my first kiss. How I was, was so nervous. It was horrible because I was so nervous. I was shaking, like full on, full body shaking. Um, wow. Extremely embarrassed, extremely nervous. And like it took an entire movie. Like he didn't make a move and I didn't make a move. And it took an entire two hour movie before anybody made a move. And then when it happened, wow. it was just horrible and like amazing. Just a, yeah. yeah, was not ideal. What about you? I'm hoping yours is much better than mine. Mine was actually. I was. I was talking about this yesterday. That's why I also mm -hmm. picked up the question. And I realized that my first kiss was with a girl. I was very young, and it yes. was with a girl. And I'm not gonna say anything else because I don't want. Um, yeah, it's like too much information, but it, it, and it was great. It was like such We're a We're going to have a conversation in private after this. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, too much information. I'm like, now I have to know. I have to know. Um, um, yeah, it was great. And then I remember like my first actual boyfriend, mm -hmm. we said that we were together for a month before we actually kissed. Okay. How old were you? Do you mind saying? Uh, Fifteen. Yeah, I did. The first kiss happened very early on. And then the first partner happened later on. And then the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. It's so like nerve wracking, like being so open and honest about your first kiss. I love like... it though. I was like, Oh my god, I, I didn't think about that. That's so good. There's so many great talk about these things. No. Hmm? No. There's so many great questions that people come up with that I'm always like, oh my yes. God, or like really hard questions. Yes. Okay. So one serious one was, how does it feel to represent an LGBT character on TV? I mean, it makes me very proud, very mm. proud to be able to like, because I think what was lacking so much, I've been in this industry for so long since I was like a little kid, as you know, and I was like, what was yeah. lacking growing up is you really just didn't have diversity of, of everything in our industry yes. of, of different um, race, religions, uh, sexual orientation. And so I feel like to be able to be, be a character that is representing the LGBTQ community made me really proud. It just made me really proud of our, our the industry still has a really long way to go. There's a lot of shows that just don't properly represent 
um, every different community, but it made me really like, I've always been, because I know some people that are just not, for some reason, just not, don't want to, aren't comfortable. And I've right. always, my manager and agent have always been like, yes, yes, yeah. hands down. Because <laughs> um, yeah. I think I've said in the flat past, like I'm such a firm believer that like love is love yeah. and we're all humans. Oh God, and, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what about you? How do you feel about representing the LGBT? Uh, amazing. Amazing for so many reasons. I feel like I grew up in a very conservative environment mm. and it wasn't bad, but it was very judgmental towards uh, homosexuality specifically and like uh, um, I feel like Italians are very welcoming uh, people but like everybody they kind of I don't know uh, we're also very um, um, self-ironic auto-ironia so we make fun of ourselves but I feel like we also make a lot of fun of of other people and I feel like the gay community makes Mm. gets like made fun a lot in, in, in Sicily and in Italy? Italy? In or Italy just... Yeah, it happened a lot growing wow. up. And like my, I was a dancer for a long time. So I was around, um, like I was around that all the time. And my best mm-hmm. friend is gay. And, and I feel like uh, being able to represent a bisexual character. So it's like a bit of both. Uh, it's like so important for me because I feel like I, I get a lot of Sicilian people, a lot of like Sicilian girls that reach out to me. And it's like it feels so good to have one of us representing us. Yeah. It's like even us, Sicilian, we can be gay, we can be bisexual, and it's so good that you can do it openly. And somebody like mentioned, uh, I seen you kissing another girl on national America, like an international representation. TV. Yeah. Yeah. It, it gives us the freedom to be able to do that and does, and not feel like we're doing something wrong. And that, like, wow, it gives me goosebumps, just breaks my heart every time. I'm going to cry now. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> No, but it's like, yeah. you know, you do a little bit. I feel like that's what's so, what makes me so proud about it. It sounds like the same for you. Yeah. It's like that we're able to be that representation on television because it is. It's like, I feel like as women, just going to being a woman, like, I didn't know you could be certain professions until I saw them. Like, I feel like so much of our of influences our lives is like, we don't think we can actually do something or be something or what we are feels wrong if we don't yeah. see it in the public eye because it's not the popular way of thinking. And yeah. so to be and able to be- Bisexuality is one of those things where you feel like you're not one, you're not the other, you're something in between. So it's like undefined and being able mm-hmm. to be like, no, I am, I am, I'm part of this group of people and and there's nothing wrong with me and we just love and you can fall in love yes. with a girl you can fall in love with a guy and it's all good and nobody freaking dies from it so why judge it why feel like it's bad i know that's what i was like love is love like what is so wrong yeah. like what is you know but um what was i gonna say other something else. do you know like the kinsey scale too have you ever heard of that some people might have no. heard of that and if you haven't people that are listening like the kinsey scale is awesome it came out a long time ago there's actually a movie about it but it's like Alfred Kinsey came up with this this scale, which I always love. It's like that everyone's sexuality falls somewhere on the scale. Mm. You know, no one is 100% one or the mm. other. You fall somewhere. Absolutely. Um, and so, I, of course, they're more extreme so, one or the other. But Yeah, su- super true. I felt that 100%. Do you? Yeah. And I loved it, too, because when the study came out, I was like, oh, like, I'm, my brain always works on, like, scientific, like, I like stats and numbers. And like, right, right, right. And to see that also made you, me feel like, oh, like, Okay, like it's you can, you don't have to, for that, yeah. Yeah, and like I think you said earlier, you don't have to choose one or the other. Like that's what's so great also about the fact that we're playing bisexual characters is that, like, because I feel sometimes when people do discover um, that they're that they're gay, that they're that they're into the, you know whatever their sexual orientation is, they feel they have to. I feel you feel there's the pressure that you have to make a decision. Like, oh, I have to decide exactly yeah. what I am if I'm gay moment. or am I straight am I or like yeah. where, where do I fall yeah exactly for sure and I just think that that's not fair and knowing the Kinsey scale really like allowed you know that moment of like oh like okay there doesn't have to be a finite answer to so this black and white no absolutely. yeah and absolutely. I love that and we're playing these bisexual characters but... yeah, oh, have, you know, ever, really... have you ever dated or been with a man on on Grace I've only fooled around with a couple of with a couple guys yeah yeah, yeah, okay. but the relationships have been with girls, women. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. So I was always, I didn't. I was like, awesome. Um, yeah. Is there any other questions you had in there? Okay, what's your girl's crush? Oh, this is so hard. What is your girl crush? I have two. Okay, what are they? I have a Brazilian actress. 
Alice Braga. I don't know how you say in Her Portuguese. Name sexy. Alice oh Braga. Goodness. I don't know, but I love her. Uh, <laughs> she's so cute and charming and such a good actress, very honest, and I really like it. And then uh, Zendaya, me, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, I could see them both. I don't. I need to look up name the first one again. What was her name? Alice Braga or Alicia Alice Braga. Braga. She was in Alice City of Braga. God, and she, I think she's very popular in Brazil. She's doing a series okay. called um, Regina del Sud, Reina del Sur. Okay. Yeah. I'll look her up. But Zenda is amazing. I love that. I have no idea what mine would be. I guess like. Mm. That's so hard. Like in my head, I'm thinking of like all the women that I find attractive. I'm like, my goodness. Like Kate Beckinsale, like in Underworld was like insanely hot. Nice. But I'm trying to think like, obviously Charlize Theron and anything she's ever done. I mean, come on. But like Jennifer Lawrence, also amazing. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, we, have, we have different tastes. In oh, one absolutely have different, different tastes. <laughs> We have, yes, we, we know we have different tastes. We do, we do. <laughs> How about I your mean, men's come on, crush? we don't need to get in. Yeah, what'd you say? How about your men's crush? Mm. Um, I, I don't know what to think about these questions because I saw them first, so I'm sorry to put you on the spot. No, mm -hmm. you say yours first, then I'm going to think. Oh, God, I got to think. Uh, mine are weird. Okay, so again, um, James McAvoy. <gasps> I knew you loved him. Yes. Passion he's always and like, yeah. and yep. then he's a good one. Wagner Moura. Who? Another Brazilian actor. Uh, <laughs> you love your Brazilian. I love it so much. And I'm sure the fans are loving that right now. <laughs> um, um, like my, I guess, James McAvoy is a good one, but I can't take yours. Let me see. Um, I feel like we've had this conversation on set and I had answers and I can't remember where they were. I don't remember them either. It was some, like a, a little unexpected. Well, yeah, I tend to like, like, like the nerdier, like Joseph Gordon-Levitt and stuff like that. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. He's cute. It just surprises me. It just surprises me coming from me. Like the nerdy ones. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh my God, my forehead made is so prominent right now. Um, I'm, no, it's I'm so trying to, No, there's definitely ones that I get also... It's, to me, it's like the ones that are just amazing actors. Like if I watch a movie, I'm like, oh my yeah. God. Like I just watched normal people and the the male actor in that, or like Outlander and the male. I don't even yeah. know their damn Sam Hewen. I think is the main the main yeah. actor in Outlander. Oh my god! Yeah, talent is so attractive, no matter what. It's definitely, definitely more attracted to talent than to appearance. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's my thing. Is like I just don't know. Like it's more their personality if I see mm -hmm. them in an interview, but it's definitely so much more about like their talent. Like I'll see the talent for a crush and then I'll be like oh yeah. my god who is this person they're so talented yeah. and then I'll go watch them in an interview and if they also have a great personality yeah. interview I'm like oh that's Done. my new crush yeah. yeah I have a crush it's official yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, nice. so I guess I crush on a lot of people because I'm just saying everything everybody's <laughs> talented yeah yeah um, but yeah that's a great one too that made me blush um, yeah what is another did you have another question I'm forgetting I think I need it's to okay I have a question me... box here Okay, okay, okay. Do you want me to see what's through this too? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know what, oh, at the moment. Favorite TV show at the moment? I have, I loved Euphoria, uh, obviously. And obviously. Then I, I just watched this whole Soprano, Sopranos. I hadn't seen it you, and it was fun. We watched the whole thing? I rewatched, I watched the whole thing and it was great. Um, that it, Sopranos was amazing. I never actually saw the final season, though. No. Did How you? Are you favorite? Yeah, the whole thing. My I favorite show it. at the moment is that Normal People. I loved it. I, I heard about it. I haven't it. seen it yet. Okay, nice. I'm gonna go check it out. I mean, it's very sexual, but it's fun to watch, especially in quarantine. You're like, yay! <laughs> um, but I also finally gave the morning show a chance. 
because yeah. I kept I watched the first two episodes. I just wasn't into it. I wasn't vibing that show. And then um, and then I someone said, just give it till the third episode. And I ended up giving it to the third and then I give it the fourth I mean, and then it got so good. Nice. Yeah. So the morning show was really good, too. So I would say like normal people in the morning show. Currently. The morning show. Okay, I'm going to check them out. Um, I wish you could see questions, too, because then you could help me pick on questions. <laughs> people people always ask this question. We've already answered this one before. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Good. It's very good. <laughs> um, and we've asked this one before. What's our favorite scene together? I'm like yeah. trying to find some new ones. These are all good questions, though. And thank you guys for all the questions. Yeah. Um, have you been to Canada? That's a random one. Yeah. Whereabouts? I think we might have asked that before. I did, think we did answer that before, yeah. We have been to I, Canada. I think I've been, been all over Canada. Everywhere it feels like, but Nova Scotia. Um, <laughs> oh, the question box covers your face. Okay, we'll get rid of the question box. We don't need to cover Stefania's oh, face. Oh, go higher. Wait, what? Well, yeah, go higher. Why isn't the question box going away, though? Huh, okay. there's a little X, but let me see if I can. Oh, geez. Now I'm just looking at my computer of myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't do that. I almost removed you, Stefania. <laughs> Let's not do that. People are like, please don't do that. You guys, I can't get rid of the question box. No. It's okay. I'm higher. I'm higher. I'm sitting okay. Um. Oh, you love food. I'm going to have you answer this one. What's your favorite food? For anyone that doesn't know, Stefania loves food. Oh, wait. But are you full-on vegan? I am a vegan that cheats. So, okay. But you don't like, cheat with, like, meat, animal meat, do you? No, I don't. I don't cheat with animal. The, the, the thing that I cheat with is usually cheese. Cheese. Or um, like if I go home and have granita with the brioche, the brioche has a little egg on it. Yeah. I definitely eat a lot of that. And the vegan goes out of the window. Yeah. That sounds amazing. But so if just, it has eggs or cheese. Yeah. No, me, no I don't. You are f a vegan, no? You've been experiencing that for a bit. I have been a vegan now for, well, I was a vegan basically five weeks, but then this last weekend, I went and had brunch at Barrett's house, nice. and her boyfriend made uh, chicken sausage and bacon. And you ate that? I did eat that, so I'm not a vegan. I mean, you can't, but I have to say, like, it was interesting to test it out, because a big part of me is, like, taking away I feel so much better not eating meat and like my stomach did start to feel unsettled after I ate that and food that day what and it's eco-friendly what, what is that not what eating meat it? like the cow's, oh. cow's farts are one of the most polluting things in the world I know. So I when I watched the documentary about that I was like oh my gosh I feel like I was talking to a friend and he was telling me can you imagine in like a hundred years it'll be like human race is distinguished because of cow's farts that's crazy. If you, if you were we like, have that now, which would be really it's horrible. It's terrible. Yeah, no, not good. Not good. No, let's, let's eat less meat. Definitely, definitely. There's so many positives to it. And then when I started getting into Saqqara, which is that company um, that I get my meals from, and like now I have their cookbook and their granola, and like the food tastes oh. so good, and I'm so full. It's not like I'm starving. I don't feel like I'm depleted yeah. on any like nutrition. Um, all like the kind of false stuff that you hear about that kind of food. Yeah. I feel amazing. Nice. So. I love that. So, yes, but I did have some bacon. Ah, the favorite on, like, a favorite food, yeah, for me, pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, you love pizza. I love pizza. I'm obsessed with pizza. I could eat pizza every day. And then I love a lot of, like, like cookies, biscotti. Uh, I do sometimes tiramisu. Oh, Ooh, I, love... I haven't had tira uh, tiramisu in a long time. Um, <laughs> do you dip your biscotti in, is it biscotti or biscotti? Bisc biscotti. 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 Tea. 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 Biscotti. <laughs> Biscotti. So in my dip coffee? It in coffee, yeah. Yeah. That's sure. like a thing. I think it was, oh, it wasn't the live we were on, but last live I did, I was telling everyone how amazing that espresso you made for me was. Ah, thank you. In your new espresso machine. It was so good with oat milk, and everybody was like, Make yeah. so what kind of uh, espresso beans did you use? Do you, I don't even know. If I actually have delicious. a very sensitive stomach, so I have to use some like with low acidity and mm -hmm. try to get organic. I kind of change up a lot, but maybe like some the closest possible. I don't try to source it from the other side of the world if if possible. As locally but, grown as you can. Yeah, 
as possible, I love that. Yeah, I suppose it's possible, right? Um, I still don't know why I can't get the box to go away, but we can see your face. I can see your face now. Yeah. Um, here, bless that one. Are you a romantic person? To a fault. I know the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. To a fault. Like surprises and little gestures and flowers and just letters. I wrote, I wrote, my mom and I exchanged letters until, until she passed away, unfortunately. But we wrote letters, like she used to send me letters to the, to the US, I used to send letters to Sicily. We talked almost every day, so it was kind of like a little bit unnecessary, but it was so fun to receive a, a handwritten letter that took 10 days to cross the world to get to you. And you say things that you don't really say when you're talking to somebody like on Skype or on the phone. So yeah, these little things for me are so important. Love it. The Everybody. thought and the letter is a beautiful thing because it's such a dying, you know, way of communicating. Yeah. But it really is so beautiful to like receive a letter and just the way how it feels and like to open yeah. it up and to read it. Um, because yeah. I basically only ever done long distance relationships, and my first long distance <laughs> wow. relationship was like all letters, and I loved it. It was okay. so romantic. Okay. Even though, like yeah. you said, you still text and talk to the person like yeah. almost every exactly. day. Exactly. But there's yeah, something absolutely. about that. Yeah. So definitely romantic. Yeah. Um, wait, there was a really good question. Oh, this is funny. Out of, as a couple, in the two of us is the way I took this. So who, who would be the most jealous and who's the most romantic one? I feel like Maya would definitely be the jealous one. I hate to admit it because I, Danielle, am not. But I feel like, or do you think you would be? I feel like you, I feel like is, Karina wait, is not is jealous. Karina, I don't think. I think she has You, it. for sure. Okay. In real life? Like in real life i'm like super jealous i smash <laughs> dishes throw things like insanity i've calmed down a lot though if you met me when i was 20 mama mia una pazza psicopatia no <laughs> like i used to be absolutely insane i used to slap people in the face and like just throw like smash entire sets of dishes not good it's not good for me it wasn't good for me i was constantly like but i grew up in italy and in italy Situations uh, can get promiscuous, no? Everybody's like, hey, you doing? Hey, you doing? It's like a little bit intense. Here people are more politically correct than everybody cheats everywhere in the world. But yeah. Oh my God. <clears throat> There's like a squirrel or something attacking <laughs> the tree outside my door. <laughs> like I have this huge tree. Oh, there he goes. There's like I have this huge tree in my backyard. I can try to show it to you. Let's see. Yeah. But anyways, there's a squirrel like losing his. He's gone. Yeah. Like, you see my you tree in my backyard. It's not scary. <laughs> I can show you. Like, do I, you see my tree? Nice. So yeah, there was show a squirrel. Me house. <laughs> I can't me show you the whole house. You want to see yes, the whole house? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've decided. I'll give you a tour of the house. But wait, that's the story I was saying. But there was a squirrel somewhere in this tree. Yeah. And he was, the, all the bark was like falling. If you can see the ground, like all the bark was <laughs> falling cool. and it was out, right outside my window. Um, but yeah, so I think we've decided as Karina and Maya, I would be the jealous, jealous one and you would be the romantic one. Yeah. But as Danielle and Stefania, those roles would be reversed. I think so. I think so. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a mini tour, but my house is kind of under construction still. So. Okay. But here's like my little kitchen. Beautiful. Wow, oh, look at the table. Yeah, do you like? I remember nice. the table. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I'll take you to the front of the house first. Everything's so black yeah. and white, anyways. Wait to hear noise. What can? What can? What can? What can that be? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay. Put that there. Oh, you're lighting up. You're so much better. Yeah, it's your house. Hi, yeah. everyone. Well, no, but I've never sat in this room. The house is like completely under construction. This is awesome. Hi, everyone. We did a little, um, I feel the heart. We did a little, um, oh, I think, here, save it to your feed so you don't, all right, maybe not. Wait, hold on. I'll help her out here. Because it's still doing, it's still delayed. I think technology's oh, freaking wow. out right now because we're on the same. It's not me. It's my phone. It doesn't allow me to do things. Okay. 
It is your phone. That was definitely your phone's fault that time. I, I think I have to save it on mine. It didn't give me the option. I'm going to save it, though, and I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. We did a little surprise. We wanted to kind of give you guys this treat um, to see together. We see each other. We did, and I got to hang out with Jeff. And you made us when you made me the amazing espresso. Oh, yeah. why are these on? Oh, I can't hear you very well. <laughs> um, I wish I could, like, do you want to do any questions, too? Yeah. I'll sit back here. 99. And that was the most tour of my house I'd ever given. Yeah. <laughs> espresso, why is this not working? I know. It doesn't, my phone also gets a little crispy. We're trying to open up the question box. Uh oh, you turned it around. Tap the screen twice. Excellent. <laughs> don't trust this pampinato. Did you just say don't getting... trust this pampinato? Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you see any questions on there that you'd like to ask? <laughs> oh, LGBT couple. I'm really sad that Cara Del. Um, I can't say her last name. Do you know who I'm talking about? Cara Del. I'm so blown out. Um, Cara Del Vine and Ashley Benson. Oh no, I did the thing did again. Did they break up? Yeah, they broke up and it made me really oh, sad. Because I, I thought they were a good couple together. I didn't know that. Yeah, um, that's Like in real life? Yeah, in real life. And now she's, but I guess Ashley Benson's bisexual, so now she's with g Easy. Oh. I really don't know who he is. Me neither. But that made me sad in real life. That was a good yeah. one. But do you oh. see any other questions? I love that that just like pops back up again. Uh, who have a uh, trip together? What do you think? If you had to plan a trip together to where do you think you would go? Oh, I want to go everywhere right now. I know. I saw this friend of mine who lives in the British Virgin Island and they just got a little hut on yeah. the beach and with the view of the beautiful ocean and mm -hmm. that's what I would like to be right now. You want to be on the beach yeah. with an ocean view and yeah. do nothing. And just read books. And have you been reading any books lately? I have actually, it's actually the Black Lives Matter thing. I was, uh, I was saying that to you before, mm -hmm. but I feel like not being from this country, I felt very ignorant about the whole history of how the movement was started and what like brought, yeah, so I, I brought us to this situation. And I feel like I, it was a very good um, reason for me to sit down and study and, and understand more about the whole the whole history of this country and how this moment why this moment is so important for 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 the movement and for 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 the country so yeah I that's I, what's the book that you're reading on that one i actually i've been reading a book about that i feel like i've been watching a ton of documentaries me too the documentaries for sure yeah. and there is a, a podcast about uh, from the um, uh new york times mm -hmm. called 1918 it's a number, it's a date. I should know, I can't, I'm blanking right now, but it takes you through the whole history. African American history. That would be amazing. Slavery. Yeah. Cause I know like I've been, a lot of people have been talking about Tulsa, Oklahoma, which I feel like didn't mm -hmm. even come, I didn't even know about Tulsa, Oklahoma until about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And just the fact that our history books in America don't teach you about that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but it's like interesting. The white out well, yeah, right they completely black out. white out is what they're calling it, right? Yeah. The white out of it's like, like certain things. I feel like it's like a white version of ah. American history. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's kind of it's yeah. so curated. It's very much like let me pull out these certain things yes, that happened. Exactly. And I never knew about that, and I don't know much about Rosewood. I believe is the other area yeah. that was through history. I don't know anything. I'm learning that, exactly. but I've been watching a ton of documentaries. Yeah, and then I just got a book. Um, how to talk about race. Nice. Which is a great one. And then White Fragility will be the next one. There's another podcast called Is This Racist? Which is like a, a mm. run by a comedian. But yeah. I feel like there's a lot of things that I feel like I do, I do without... Um, like an unconscious bias, yes. maybe? We, uh, yes, without even realizing. And it's like, mm. no, no, no. That you, as a white woman, should not say that. And I feel like I, it makes me be more aware. And which is good. Yes. Which I think which is though, such a big problem with people getting so defensive. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's better, I'd rather someone put me in my place and say, don't yeah. say that, yeah. and me be completely unaware that I said yeah. something. Then me keep saying that and look oh like, my God. Sound like a dickhead. But so. it's hard sometimes. Like, sometimes I think people are nervous that if they tell you not to say something, it'll start an argument. Yeah. And so I try to always be as, like, 
Please open as yeah. possible. Like I was like, is that how you yeah. say it? And everyone's yeah. got a different opinion too. For sure. Like I can talk to one group of people and they have a very strong opinion about something and talk For to another sure. group of people. And that's why I think just being open yeah. to taking those criticisms and saying yeah. you can't say that or you and can't do that. And to learn and study and hear a different perspective. I feel like it's the best thing that also or like even if, yeah. It's the best thing you can do. Someone brought that up about our industry too, because like we're as actors, you play a diverse, I mean, we just talked about it, like playing uh, bisexual characters. Yes. Like you play such diverse characters yes. that it's so, our part of our job is knowing what it's like in other people's shoes. I mean, if we yeah. weren't empathetic, I don't see how, I don't see how actors no, could, could, do could, this could do this without being no, empathetic. Absolutely. But anyways, that's our little mm. speech about that. What, where's, where's Jess? Jess, <laughs> <laughs> Jess is in my place right now. Uh, did you turn? I can't even see this, by the way. Oh, like wow. That. That's a full-on question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is, I was talking to my friend, and she was looking through uh, this Spanish TV series um, about this um, couple, this two women couple. Yeah. And she was saying that they interviewed the, the two girls, the two actresses, and the question was like, did you guys ever get turned on when you do a kissing, like a scene yeah. between the two of you? And I love it because they say, definitely, yes. I was like, well, yeah. I just got nervous and I was like, what would you say? Well, I definitely, yes. And I feel like they gave me permission. I would definitely, uh, yeah. I had to, I had yes. fantasies. I had full on fantasies. Shut about up! Yes. Oh, I'm so flattered. I'm so flattered. <laughs> Saying it in front of three <laughs> all these people. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I love that so much. I love that so much. Um, yes, so definitely. But definitely, I mean, there's always that thing too. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. Is in the industry, they kind of do this thing where at least men that I've had had sex scenes with, what sex scenes with, will say this. Is oh, like you're nervous. Huh? I did a sex scene. <laughs> you can tell. Like, sorry if I do, sorry if I don't. Situation yes. because obviously you're trying to be politically correct respectful. and respectful of the person you're having um, an intimate scene with. Yeah. But in men, it's an anatomy that really they can't necessarily control yeah, I mean enough. TMI or if this is if you're too young for this but like yeah <laughs> but at the same time it's one of those things like I've had a lot of scenes with men they're like sorry if I do sorry if I don't because obviously right. if nothing happens and they're not turned on right then you're kind of like oh my god did I do something wrong <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then if they are turned on they're like oh my god I hope it doesn't I'm make sorry. you right, 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 right. exactly so yeah with women with women you, can, you, can, yeah. you can hide it as long as you want, so. So we wouldn't have known until we just exactly. said something. And then I stuttered my words and turned bright red. <laughs> you cannot say You, you can't because it's so light. <laughs> Super light. <laughs> Super blight. So are saying? you getting nervous? I know, right? <laughs> okay, anything uh, else? I can't. Say. What do I like the most about Stefania? <laughs> her personality. Hands no. down, her personality. But there's a million things I love about no, Stefania. No, 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 no. If we had to plan a trip together, oh, <laughs> please just imagine. Well, I'm. I love traveling. We just said you're gonna go to a yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Do you visit. scuba dive? I don't. Do you ever you want to? I, I mean, tried I several times, but I feel like I get a little freaked out. Like claustrophobic. Yes, I mean, that's understandable. Love. You like to scuba dive? I love scuba diving. Yeah, nice. And that's why I always think of like the uh, French Polynesian islands mm -hmm. or Thailand, off the coast of Thailand, or. Bali and things like that, they're that's great amazing. places to go because the scuba diving. Yeah. 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 That's what was so great about the Maldives. Yeah. Have you been to the Maldives? No, I feel like I'm waiting for like a, the honeymoon phase with a person that I can go there. Oh, there's nothing to do. No? What if it goes completely wrong? <laughs> a trick to remember. <laughs> See, I always think if I want to test a place out, I'm like, I want to go with my, my best friends that I know. That's a good point. Because I feel like with relationships, I like the honeymoon phase test out, I feel, well, uh, no, you I know. You cannot go after this. 10 years you've been with somebody to the all days. You have to go at the beginning. I think you just get the most out of it when okay. it's so exciting. Yeah. See that? Come on. I'm thinking. I mean, I've never lasted 10 years in a relationship, number one. Uh, almost. In most relationships I'm in, like, we travel a lot, but every time we yeah. travel, we tend to argue. You do? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now that I think about that, that's so wow. sad. No, I, I feel like traveling is the best. It, well, you see a lot of couples argue. Like, every, even you've been on vacations, yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. you see other couples, and, like, I'm like, why is it always arguing? Yeah. That's what I just need. I need someone that doesn't argue with me. 
Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just since when you knew you wanted to be an actress? I mean, I started when I was seven. Wow. So I think it was a, something that just happened. Mm -hmm. And then I actually went through like a phase when I was like 19, where I was like, is this what I want to do? Because mm -hmm. just so you guys know, it wasn't smooth sailing. Like I at 19 yeah. ended up like losing all my money, not losing, I should say spending all my money and becoming like full on broke. Wow. And I was like, do I want to do this? Like start and do I want or do I want to invest in going? It was like at that time, do I really want to go to school and like get a different degree. Mm -hmm. And I went, I got a bartending job and started taking classes at a community college to finish my associate's degree. Wow. Um, and loved going to school, loved classes, but was still auditioning and just realized in that time it took about a year. Mm -hmm. I was still it was when I did Supernatural. Was it when I did Supernatural? I did like a spinoff to Supernatural. Mm -hmm. Um. And I booked like two jobs in the meantime and just realized I loved it. Okay, yeah. I was like, no, this is, I can't do anything this is but this. Oh, amazing. What about you? I feel like I always knew that I wanted to be on stage or like performing. But Because you were a dancer before. Yeah, the first love for me was dance, but mostly because the, the acting, the industry for acting in film in Italy isn't, at least in Sicily, isn't that... Um, productive as it is here in the US and I feel like it was in I don't know I guess dance is the same but I feel like dancing I just everything happened so naturally that I feel like you just everything fell into place and I ended up becoming that and then I feel like acting felt like the right progression I feel like dancing wasn't enough for me as a as a um, art form to express myself and yeah. I feel like acting was a good segue to keep doing that but I feel like yeah since I was a kid I wanted to be a hairdresser dancer I love a hairdresser dancer. Like that was the mix is a hairdresser yeah. dancer. A hairdresser dancer. Do you still dance to this day? Yeah. Naked with a glass of wine in my living room. <laughs> I have not seen that yet. <laughs> Nobody has. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> just you. you. I think my Jeff. Naked. I haven't seen a lot of that. <laughs> Jeff has all the secrets, everyone. <laughs> um, that you is amazing. I do like when I'm cooking. I would say like yeah. in my house. And yeah, it's funny that I do tend to like I prefer be having no clothes. Like, I don't know what it is or like minimal amount of clothes in your house. Yeah. Like once you have your house and you can walk around being like, ha. Sarah, and she has a lot of windows, you guys. So. That's why I haven't been doing it lately. <laughs> There's still no damn windows and no curtains on my house yet. I love this. Um, but there is something great about that. Yeah, they don't go sure. away. I told you they're not. How do you do this? Yeah. They should yeah. just go away and they're not. Yeah. It'll turn the camera on again once. How long have we been going on for? We just well, like, an hour they'll shut this off, and we started at like two. So in like nineteen minutes, we okay. should definitely stop it or whatever. Should we just do it before before people get tired of us. Yeah, we can do that too. Okay, last question. Should we the last question? Is this what you wanted to be the last question? Then yes. No, I, one more. I okay, mean, one last question. No. Yeah, sure. It usually leads into like three questions, and we just want to make sense. But that'd be a good one. Oh my god, I'm so blind. I'm like leaning in trying to see. <laughs> Can I do, oh, while you're doing that, can I just scream it? Oh my god. Let's see. Effervescent? I like that. Um, i trying to think of like the best mm, words. That's a good question. Did you get turned on when you kissed Stefania? I answered the question. Yes, I did. I thought I answered oh. yes. It was a hell yes. I, I guess I wanted not. to be more clear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have gotten turned on when I've had scenes with Stefania. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we feel the same way about our seats. Um, okay, I like this. What do you find inspiring about each other? Sorry. Oh, which kind of lies with what me trying to come up with three words. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. I think it's. I think your love of like life and like your. Mm -hmm. um, but also too, what's so great? I think what inspires me about you though is you have, at least it feels like you have no issues speaking your mind and knowing where you stand and I know in your brain you're probably like maybe not but I feel like you have a very strong sense of who you are mm. and what you want mm. and you have no problem telling people it's a constant work in progress and it's tied to my upbringing I was I was telling you like I grew up in a conservative place so I feel like I need, I had to find my voice especially around sexual stuff like I used to be very comfortable around strangers because I was like hi I can be myself and then around family, I used to turn into like, I guess a little bit, we all do that. We all turn into this idea of us. What they want of, you to be. Yeah, they, they want us to be. But I feel like, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that I put a lot of thought into it, into. And I'm like, okay, I want to make sure that I do speak my mind. And there's like so, so many things that I feel like I grew up that I thought were taboos mm -hmm. that I don't want 
to be taboos and I want to talk about openly. But thank you for saying that. It is, it's be but it's so beautiful. And just the way you go about it, because I always get so nervous of like speaking my mind. Mm. I mean, I've gotten much better about it over the years, but like, okay. you're so beautiful at that. Like, it's a, and you do it so easily. I was like, <laughs> that was amazing. How did she do that? Um, and also there's a million other things. Yes, your energy and your, mm. your excitement for life and your optimism. And your, mm. there's, the, the queen of optimism, of optimism, optimism <laughs> wow, I cannot buy a vowel. Okay, I was like stuttering wow. over here like crazy. Um, but I feel like the thing that I admire the most about your personality is like you're so smart and hardworking. I feel like when you like enter, put the gear on, you go like a train and you're so productive and I feel like you're, you achieve so much. In the time that I was doing a meal and I was feeding Jeff, you have done like uh, a charity, donated to Black Lives Matter, uh, do the, the, like a study, like watch five documentaries, help your sister, also help the friend move out, uh, also like help the dog from the neighbor that needed something and you took it to the vet and you brought it back. Like you're so good at doing so many things with your days. It's very inspiring. Yeah. But see, my problem is, and that's great that it's inspiring, but I have to learn to like, Mm. calm down I mean I work with my therapist with that like to really like take time to calm down because my brain like one person made a joke one time that my brain was like a hundred like little people just like talking yeah. like we gotta get this one we gotta get that it never <laughs> stops um, but you don't come across as like a neurotic person you just, just be good. productive yeah good. I try to and I just try to like make priorities of the things I want to get done but I always feel like if I don't because I think in our profession too, it's hard. Like we are asked when we have a platform to do a lot. Mm -hmm. And I always feel like it's our responsibility to try. Mm -hmm. And I know we try, but it's like, sometimes it gets overwhelming, but I yeah. feel like that is part of it. It's like, nice. I just feel like, okay, I'm finally at a point in my career where I have a platform to speak up about things that are important. The best way possible. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. For as long as I can. And I think that's, I mean, whether it's stuff with the LAFD or Black Lives Matter yeah, or LGBTQ beautiful. and I feel like I need to get back on that. I feel like I, you know, I just got a place and I feel like yeah. I'm working on my place a lot. And I feel like it's, I've been, and also I'm very bad with social media. So I feel like I'm going to get better and I'm going to go back. Like I used to do this uh, little thing, hundred little ways to save the planet. And I'm yes! not doing that. I feel like I need to start back now. When we, when our characters, like when I found out our characters were going to be dating on the show or at least attempted dating, whatever, we didn't know the storyline was going to go. But when I got the official word, I like looked at your mm -hmm. feed and I love that because that's yeah. one thing I feel like I lack on is like, I am try to be so, so good at um, mm -hmm. being an environmentalist and you're that thing you had the hundred ways yeah. was genius. I remember watching yeah. it and I remember took one of them. I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. I'm going to save that. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to start back up. I'm gonna, like, come on. Now I'm settled. I have to do this. But it's a balance. Yeah, we have yeah. life too. And like buying a house yeah. and like moving in and the things you have to do, like it's hard because you're putting things that you feel are important in the back burner, but yeah. you have to take care of yourself first. Like I've always been told it's yeah. like the airline, um, the airplane analogy. Mm -hmm. Like you've got to put your own mask on first to take care of, be able to put the mask on someone next to you. I think that's the perfect way to end. <laughs> Make sure you are all taking care of yourself during all of this. Um, and then put it on me. Because <laughs> we've got a plane together flying to our little deserted island. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's important to find balance and to have happiness and to stay optimistic. And I'm so lucky to have you as a friend. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. And I'm so happy we got to do this with you guys. Yes. Um, thank you so much for watching us. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for all your questions. That was yeah. that was so much fun. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to say? No. Perfect. Have a great day. Enjoy um, you the rest of your Thursday. Enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, yeah, message us with any questions or anything you guys have. Vi vogliamo bene. Is it arrivederci? Vi vogliamo bene. It's like, we adore you. We adore you? Yeah. But arrivederci is like goodbye. Arrivederci is goodbye, yes. I learned, I knew that was like one more, one more to my, my time. is <laughs> lacking. Okay, you have to press the little button now. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs> arrivederci. Ciao. Now, don't lose it, though. Like, oh. Press it and then it'll ask to stay. <laughs> okay, so end now right there. Yes.